Saa saa SK. Okay. So let's continue this story from you guys move out of Umoja yeah. and you move uptown to Buru. <laughs> Buru. Now we moved to Buru. It yeah. was one room door house now. So now in Buru I moved in with my sister. Mm-hmm. She had moved out of also from her one room. Yeah, from Umo. She came over to Buru. Now it's a slightly a bigger house. Now we moved in together. And moved in with Mike. Kev went his way. So Kev became my landlord, my, my tenant. I became his landlord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because the house that we went into was was actually so my dad had these rentals. Yeah. But my dad wouldn't allow us to take the house. What? Yeah. Because so, you're a rebel who didn't exactly. learn the lesson. So now Kev brought in the whole reconciliation. So Kev said, hey, listen. There is a challenge. This thing is not complete. You guys are now doing music. There is artists, but we need to perform this music. So what do we do? We need to to have a setup. I need speakers, man. But the only thing I can think of because I can't afford speakers is your dad is a pastor. I'm telling you, we can't go back to Nakuru. Nakuru yezi. He said you need to reconcile with him because we need speakers, man. So now. We had to go to Nakuru. Kev and I. What? Yeah, we took Mola line. Shoo, Nakuru. So we went, met my dad. This is like three years later, man. Three, three and a half years later. You haven't talked at all at on all the day you entered that bus. Yeah. And to come to Nairobi. Yeah. To Umo. Three and a half years later. We're having hit songs now. But now we don't have a computer. And Kev is saying, why don't we go up? So we go to Nakuru. And I meet my dad, and he says, Hey, what took you so long, Bara? I've been hearing your stuff. Allah, you've been hearing our stuff from Uku. Kumbe, the songs had hit in Nakuru as well. What? Yeah. So now, we reconciled. So, and we told him, Okay, this is Kev. We actually work together. We live together. And Kev wants to be a DJ. And we can't afford speakers. So you need to give us speakers, even if we'll pay for them later. Do you know we went back to Nairobi with speakers? What? Hey, scoop! Yeah, 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 yeah. And two speakers. What well, the speakers Kev did his first gig it was called JC's Groove. JC's Groove was not yeah. our first gig. The first gig with these two speakers that we came with from Nakuru. Wow! Yeah! Wow! Wow! wow. Hey, so your dad had. The the fruits have made him a believer. Yeah. That okay, my son isn't. Yeah. Come with he understood. Is not, yeah. It's just that your dad didn't have a reference point. He didn't have a reference point because at that time he was asking me, "What do you want to be like?" I didn't have a reference point at all. I was telling him the gospel version of Kamaru, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hip, a bit hip. Yeah. Nothing. Well, but this time now it was like Allah. These girls are doing something. You know. When you moved to Buru, Rafton and Dad Yoen, even then they went their own way, an ambassador. Then now they moved into a different house in Umo. Now Rafton had something and he could afford some house, but still in Inako. Yes. Yeah. So he moved there with Dad Yoen? Yeah, with Dad Yoen, ambassador, and a guy called Hari G. I remember yeah. Hari G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now, but we kept now. Of course, you only touch, you still can be Christian. So we moved to Buru. So I moved to Buru with Mike and Kev. So now the thing was, when we reconciled in Nakuru, my dad said, anyway, since you seem like your life is in Nairobi, I'll give you access to one of the rentals. Access. Access. So I asked him, what if you give us two rentals? Two one bedrooms. So he said, why do you need two one bedrooms? I just told him, you know, we are many. So now, my sister and I... Boss, mm-hmm. when I asked you earlier if you were poor, you guys are you, you, you guys, you guys <laughs> bowling, but... <laughs> no, you, you are bo- it doesn't matter, you are too. <laughs> you are bowling. Yeah. Yeah, so, this so, so to be honest, Umo wasn't your lifestyle. That kind of mm, poverty. See, Let's see. be honest. It's yeah. not that, that you were used to you. you know, I heard that you guys had lived together, but me, I thought, ah, maybe because you're ghetto, you've come from that. It was new for you. See, for me, it was new completely. Because me, I did everything 
regular, like, yeah. like regular life. Yeah, 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 I wasn't yeah. lacking. So, two other people they could consider as rich. But it's just that it's relative. Yes, I do, to, to depend on the who standards of them, yeah. where we were in our neighborhood, we yeah. were rich. But from so, but moving to Umo was a serious downgrade. Yeah, it was a downgrade like crazy. But my dad used to tell us something. If your vision is not worth dying for, then it's not worth living for. So I had to die for it, man. So we are there. So he agreed to give us two SQs. One bedroom, one bedroom. One chimney and one on top. So I gave Kev the one chimney. So I was with my sister and Mike on top. And Kev now brought DJ Josh. <laughs> So Kev moves in. Okay, SK, let's continue this story. Mm -hmm. And we keep we keep stopping. <laughs> I keep stopping you because of the the mind blowingness that's happening. <laughs> because you guys are the industry. But continue from the point of Kev gets a tenant and the tenant is a guy called. Yeah, so so we take we take one one room upstairs and Kev takes the lower room downstairs. But he says, I'll actually pay you. So we're like, okay, see I have the speakers. I'll start doing my thing and I'll be paying you rent, yeah? But I need support. So I'll bring my, my I have a partner. It's called Joshua Makale. So this yellow guy comes AKA in. AKA DJ Josh. And says, I'm DJ Josh. So those guys used to call him Junior. <laughs> <laughs> and, and basically that's how he started. So from there, JC's Groove, version one. Started. What years? What about what year is this? Two thousand and three. This is two thousand and three mid. Going two thousand and four now. Uh huh. Yeah, actually, yeah, we are going two thousand and cause cause that was the first gig, man. And but at this time, have you recorded anything? Yeah. So so at this time now, I took my sister's mattress and my mattress, and we recorded a track. But this track. Actually, it was meant to be a promo for another DJ called DJ Moz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he was telling me, you guy, can be crystal, man. You guy, you do me. DJ Moz was on radio this time. DJ Moz now was on, on KBC. What? He was the hottest thing ever. DJ Moz and Jugush. So how did we meet them? We met them, went to went to pitch for Rafton perform at Bapo and Bapo agreed so the guy is playing the music the guy was DJ Moe's wow, yeah. wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so there's this new DJ because yes you guys are guys of Islando yeah See, and him is Ukoju is West Ubabi. <laughs> Ubabi, man. so you meet this guy and he says I'm DJ Moe's banner Allah there is a DJ yeah we normally hear you on radio I'll actually play can be crystal stuff on my radio show you guys can't believe yeah okay so let's go back to dj dj josh and kev yeah josh and kev josh and kev now that's when their first event came up so but josh but kev was very ambitious so you're saying by the way i want my first gig to be in kicc well like you guys kicc rj so he's saying, by the way, me, I have my standard and I believe if they kick us out, they kick us out. KICC it is. So the first JC's group was Tintin restaurant KICC. What? Yeah. And the guy who was on radio was Moe's. So Moe's would say there is this gig coming up by Kambi Crystal done by Mo Sound. And it's called JC's Groove. And that's how it started. What? Yeah. So, so before this, there's no events for youth? Nothing. So at that, at that time now, Moz would come and Kev would, they would both spin. And now, uh, Moz introduced us to some guys and said, I need you guys to produce these guys. They don't have any money, but you guys produce them. RK has done something for them. I need you guys to do something for them. Hey, who are they? They are called Watuchopo. Who are those? <laughs> Watuchopo. So, so, 
So it's a it's a crew. It's like a kambi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the kambi was oh. called Watuchopo. Who was in Watuchopo? So and Watuchopo had their artist called Joxi. <laughs> 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 I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah. So you're talking about Lena, Lena, Kambi, the late Kambi, Kambi, yeah. Banda, mm. and who the other guy? I forgot the other guy's name. So, so what's his? What's his? They had already worked with RK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had done Hijalishi. No, no Hijalishi. Ah, was sorry. Nampenda Bwana. Yeah, yeah. What? Nampenda Bwana, man. So he's saying. I spoke to RK, RK agreed to do these guys, their first song, Nampenda Buana. I want you guys to do them another song, man. They have nothing. So don't expect to be paid. <laughs> Me, I play you on radio, you produce my boys. Eh hey, they in a crew. What's the name of the crew? Watuchopo. <laughs> <laughs> From D. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. So he said, these are ex, ex Mau Mau. Uko oh, they were Dandora. Yeah. Oh my God, it makes sense now. Exactly. Do you know how I met Giuliani? Eh? I met Giuliani via K Crew. Ah. And the person who brought Giuliani, because we went for a gig at MFA, the person who brought Giuliani was, was Lena. Exactly. And the person who brought Lena into the game was Moz. It, this world is so... Uh, I'm, it's so I'm tiny. Joining, I'm joining other yeah, places. Yeah, so these guys were ex Ukoflani Mau Mau. So they formed their own gospel version, Watuchopo. And Watuchopo had an, a group, Jogsi. What? So Jogsi would used to actually go on stage and they could come with their cheering squad. Watuchopo now. Watuchopo. Oh, I get it. Okay, so the Jogsi was just like one of the members of Watuchopo. Exactly. But Watuchopo had a crew of many people. Exactly, because they were the gospel version of Ukoflani. I get. Yeah. What? So Watuchopo were the hip hop version of Kambi Cristo, yes. which was dancehall and reggae. Because the same thing which was happening in in Umo was also happening in, in, D. in D. It's just that the music there was not reggae raga. It was, was hip hop. But in Umo, the music was reggae raga. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Ah, it's okay. You don't understand so, how you so, blow my mind. <laughs> so dancehall and reggae was on this side, and hip hop hardcore was on this other side of the street. Cause it's actually, it's actually not far. We were, we weren't far from each other. Yeah. But you cross the road, you're in dancehall reggae. Yeah. Yeah. You cross the road, you're in hip hop hardcore. Crazy. Yeah. So this time, this side, the heroes were Vinny and Mr. Googs. That side, the heroes what were Mau exactly. and Keishaka. Like, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, are. you know, I've never understood that until now. Yeah, it was streets. That is crazy. Yeah. So, so you guys produced for them? So there was a gospel crew in D, and there was a gospel crew in Umo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was what Chapo, this was Christ Kambi Christo. Christo. Exactly. So, yeah. We produce. So, but at this time, guys now know Sakata is the place exactly. for music. Yeah. So who was like coming? And the so, studio was in your house? Exactly. So I borrowed my sister's mattress. I took my mattress, put it together, and it was time for me, it was my turn now, to do a song. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> so the song was meant to be a drop. So I did this drop and I was like, Allah, I can actually stretch this thing. So I created Cha Cha. Ah. <laughs> If we, if we do a bit of cha-cha, if we just give us some lyrical flow. I swear back, man. <laughs> no, just try one. Hmm? Watu wote hapa leo, sema cha-cha, cha-cha. <laughs> Kila mtu kwenye radio, sema cha-cha. It was meant to be for radio. That was a drop. Ziki shika, unakubali. Ziki kubeba, unalia. Ziki... Yeah, some... It was, <laughs> it was a drop, by the way. It was a drop. It was a drop for Moz. What? Yeah, so then I gave Moose this drop and he's, he was telling me people are requesting the drop. The drop. Okay, hold on. You actually did a drop. I did a drop. And then you gave it to Moose. Exactly. And then Moose calling and saying, guys are requesting the drop. The drop. They are saying, play the drop again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, <laughs> so we stretched the drop and made it a song. Cha-cha. What? Hey. 
Because that's all he says. Watu wote kwenye radio. Same machacha. It was radio show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ziki chacha unakubali ziki zidi unalia ziki kubeba unasema kume chacha chacha it was a radio drop <laughs> that is insane mm. wow, wow 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 so that song blew up blew up like crazy this is what year now so this is 204 204 it blew up that same year so we did a song with Jogsi so wachana nayo sasa hii gospel imeshika wengine wameanza kusema ikuwe mogidhi wengine wanasema ikuwe hip hop wengine wanasema hip hop ikuwe mogidhi wengine wanasema nani 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 mimi nasema kama umeokoka na umevaa socks bila kiatu washana naye lecha mambo wacha Exactly. Who produced the channel now? We did. You know, it was yeah, the yeah. producer channel now. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Then we produced Lenny Sunday. Then we produced Yes, Lenny Sunday was also by that's Jose that? song. Exactly by us. But Sakata who produced? Yes. What? Now Mike was on fire, man. Mike was churning tracks. He, now he's beginning to make money. Exactly. So at first we were both doing tracks. So I was doing tracks, he was doing tracks. So I did the track for Hini Vita because we needed a follow up for Hajalishi man. Yeah. Hini Vita saw myself and Daddy Owen. What? It hit. It was a huge one. We were all called to UG man. Wow. Yeah. So we went Jogsi. We, all of us. This is the first time we na vuka boda. All of us. So we went to UG man international. We were carrying flags huko we had printed tapes <laughs> yeah, for sale <laughs> See, so this bado. Is bado we printed tapes we went to UG with the Dion with Jogsi with everyone man so the whole industry is in UG <laughs> <laughs> because you guys are the industry yeah there is no one else let me ask you at this time is ringtone there See. porcupine oh porcupine was secular Still. Oh, he was secular. Yeah, he was in a group called Melchizedek Crew <laughs> with Rizai. So, now that was a whole different crew that was coming up in uh, Isili. Wow. Isili had a crew called Melchizedek. You guys you know this music industry is in your head. <laughs> you know the whole I know story. everyone, man. <laughs> yeah. So they had their own And this other guy who got saved um you, there were two guys in a group a very light guy big uh, uh, uh Sakit. Sakit and Joel. Yeah. Sakit was way later. Uh, much later yes, much, much later. Much yeah. later. Yeah. So Pokipine at this time is still secular. He's still secular. So as guys go ring tone nothing is not nothing again. not yet. He was a toy then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He was in coast streets. Oh, he hadn't even come over. He hadn't even at done his thing. <laughs> Okay so you guys yeah. go to UG so we go to UG international show we are called to this big church so we go this pastor is telling us UG is crazy about you guys eh hey, so because we, even UG don't have a reference to gospel exactly ambassador has he gone so I'm, oh ambassador was around as well so now we are going with ambassador to UG man. you're going to you're taking him back yeah. home back home it was a big deal so that that time so we get to UG like this Eh, we we the pastor told us I didn't call you. You guys are who? 
What? Yeah. What? I'm telling you, we didn't have fare. We had tapes for sale. <laughs> we knew, <laughs> we used all we had for, for, for this thing, man. And we're in UG. And the pastor is saying, me, I didn't call you guys. You guys are who? We are the industry. <laughs> <laughs> Gospel is easy. Gospel is easy. <laughs> Nothing. Everyone with their flags and towels. Nothing. We couldn't even perform. Do you know... Yani, we, we got this guy who was in the choir for that, for Kayanja's church. Uh -huh. So the guy came and said, guys, our choir is doing two songs for the next service. We will, because I hear your story, I'll talk to my choir to do one song and allow you to do one song because I also want to be like you guys. His name was Exodus. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I cannot. Yeah, so he was, I, a choir. He was in the choir. You guys. Yeah. Exodus. Yanni. So he uh, said, I'll talk to my choir. So he went and spoke to his choir. We had one chance. One chance. Hey, in and that's why I'm a name right here. <laughs> one <laughs> shot to make it. <laughs> one, one shot. Chance. I'm telling you, that's where the culture of everyone going on stage at once came. It was born there. Because everybody needed to sell. We need to, make to bus sell fare. tapes, man. Otherwise, we won't go home. So the first guy on stage was rough. Of course. He has short hair. Katikati, call the next guy. Next guy. Everyone had to perform. We killed, man. You must we killed, killed like it. crazy. Guys had never had such dance or gospel, People, hip hop uh, gospel. You know, as I'm hearing this, did, did you, oh, you also went down with Joxy? Everyone. Oh, the industry. The industry down. was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in fact, that's why, that's why I've sort of stopped you a bit right now. You know, in my head, I can't fathom. It's not a group of people who went down at me and my crew. Because I went down to, to, to UG, like hip-hop. Yeah. You, you're saying the gospel industry, industry went down. Exactly. We were in UG. We had one shot. Kev? Was Kev there? Okay, but still you guys went down. Yeah, we went to UG. We killed, man. We killed. We shut it down completely. So... The issue was, we were not meant to perform. So now we needed to tell people that our tapes are out there. Mm. So we didn't get to tell them, because the mic was taken. What? Yeah. The mic was, and it was crazy that way. Those ones of you don't do this at church. You, who are you guys? What? These Kenyans, what, do you, what, what music is this you're bringing to church? Yani, we shut it down completely. But the mic was taken. So we didn't get to tell people that we have tapes. And we were chased. In UG. Wow, 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 wow. I'm telling you, man, we were stuck. We found a place, man, in a slum in UG. We stayed there for, for long. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have money to come back. Yeah, we stayed there for long. We stayed there for like Two, three weeks. I think three weeks, man. So we got a place as well. So it wasn't unusual. All of us in this one room, in a slum. All we could afford was Rolex banner. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Chapati with egg. Exactly. I'm telling you, it was so hard. So coming back home, everyone had to find their way. So we went to, to talk to these bus guys. We told them, man, allow us, take us home. So we split. Mm. So Akina Owen, they sat on the engine, you know, on the engine of the bus. Yeah. That, that place, it's hot. hot. Hey. So I told if you guys can sit here to talk about like Nairobi. So that's how they came home. So as okay, guys you went know, to... You know, that's like an 12-hour drive. I'm telling you, man. But we didn't care. Just going home, me and Takanyi. Yeah, through the Kenya, man. When we got home, I'm telling you, you are saying, we'll never go to UG again. We'll never go back to UG. It was the hardest time, but we were there. It was... And you actually left the footprint. Yeah. 
Kabisa. So because we went on radio, we did everything. So Exodus is the one. Exodus is the guy. Who fungoed that opportunity in church exactly. without telling his pussy. Yeah. Even him as a bit of a rebel. Exactly. <laughs> he was in the choir. So he told his choir, there's some Kenyan guys, they're stranded. Let's sing one song. Allow them to do one song. So midway, they do their song. Midway. There's a Kenyan team in on stage. We killed it. We killed it, Kebsa. <laughs> so back home. So when we came back home, now we could we were unstoppable, man. We were international. What do you mean? Hey, we were like a Jew. Hey, we were a Jew, man. We were a Jew. Exactly. We came back, and everyone was unstoppable. The industry just blew up. Kev was unstoppable, man. So churches started accepting us from uh, that because we are now coming from UG where we have been accepted. Yes, yeah. well, even though you are not really accepted. Yeah, <laughs> we were not really accepted. But, but you, them, they know you're accepted. UG, yeah. yeah, they hear, hey, this guy is killed in UG. So we come back and now that's how basically everyone now started building. Exploding. Yeah, Kev built his thing. We built Sakata Media. Joxi went and Joxi did their went thing. And so did everybody their now, it was now time for people to go and be solo to, artists. Exactly. So now it was time now to, and, and everyone was sampling everyone's recording. So now guys could go to team, do a recording, go to arcade, do a recording. Yeah. Everything was going round. So, and team had new artists. Yeah. Gospel fathers. Gospel fathers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they, they were disruptive like crazy. Because now they were there. There were now another, but I don't know, there were Kawangwari. Kawangwari crew. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Gospel fathers. So, yeah, that's how the industry started. That is crazy. And, okay. and now from there, now we, we started moving. Because we said, if we were able to do it for audio, let's do it for video. Mm. 